for you. <laughs> so dainty. <laughs> I love it. Is it a ring? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you, baby. <gasps> we match. I love it even more. And this one. <gasps> so I got it so we can match. Yes. Thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, I've talked about Anna Luisa before. Most of my jewelry pieces are from them. They are a great treat for yourself or a unique gift to get a loved one for Mother's Day. I got my mom and I matching Lori necklaces and also this solid gold twist ring. What I love about their pieces is that they're all long-lasting, tarnish-free, and you get a luxury look and feel at a fraction of the price. If you guys want to use my code, you can get 20% off of your order. I will link everything in the description, all information that you need, and I'll link some extra pieces that also stood out to me too so you guys can do some browsing and some shopping but thank you so much Anna Luisa for sponsoring and let's get back to today's video oh, look it. so beautiful let's go out and match your jewelry <laughs> oh I need you to put bronzer on me oh okay I'll do it right now you ready for your first question oh okay <laughs> put you on the spot yeah what is one of your favorite or most ex unexpected compliments you've ever gotten? Oh my gosh, that's so hard. <laughs> What's your favorite compliment to, I guess, receive or that you have received? Maybe there's one that's like kind of stood out. I think because I have a lot of anxiety and people don't see me that way and they say like that I seem strong and confident. So that's a surprising one. I love that. That's a really nice compliment to receive. Yeah. That you just kind of like got it together. Yeah, I so don't. <laughs> totally don't. Well, you are kind of like the perfect example of like a mom that just makes everything seem like everything's good and like you know everything. Oh, that's 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 really a big compliment. <laughs> You're all that's a compliment. Because <laughs> you know I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right? I know that now. <laughs> You. No, like Demi will say, I'll tell Cole, like, you need to go talk to your mom about that. And I'm like, <laughs> what am I going to say? What am I going to say? <laughs> I feel like you're always just so comforting that, like, anything you say kind of Aww. just makes you feel better. That makes me happy. What is something that you had as a child that kids today don't have? Kids have so much more now, I'm trying to think. Like, as far as material things? Is that yeah. what you're thinking? Not even, not even. Could be I feel like I, I just feel like like we have more family time. Mm -hmm. I feel like you know, some days we'd get up and go for a long drive and end up at Nana's house, and more sitting at home every night having dinner together. Mm -hmm. Where now kids are so involved that it's rare that we have time. We eat at different times. Yeah. You know, even when you were growing up, cheer and play practice and football and. All that stuff. Yeah, when you were younger, everyone was just home. Yeah. I mean, we did sports. We did a sport. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't, you know, Sport, constant. and then piano practice. Yeah. And I just then... like so much more family time. Like, we're twins, are we? No, no. <laughs> We've accepted it a while ago. You look like your daddy. <laughs> What is something that you have lost? Like an object that you have lost and you wish you still had it? Oh, that is <laughs> such an easy question and it just breaks my heart. What? When I got married, Grandpa bought me this beautiful bracelet and the latch kept coming apart and I kept thinking I needed to go have it sized and I lost it. <gasps> Devastating. Yeah. It tore me up. Oh. And there was nothing I could do. And he didn't buy me another one. <laughs> do you wish he did? I mean, it would have been the same, but yeah, I kind of do wish he did. <laughs> do you have any secrets? <laughs> More specifically, do you have any secrets that you have kept from your mom? I mean, have I told her everything? I No. But I don't have secrets. Like, no, I don't have a big secret. No. I don't, yeah, like, Nana had a very close eye on me. Mmm. You had strict parents? Nana and Grandpa were very strict. 
like very strict. But then when they divorced and not a married grandpa, then we were kind of able to like do whatever we wanted to do because he was, they were gone all the time. So it went from like a super strict household to like, yeah, <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> no, so when I was little, uh -huh. I was running outside and I fell and I tripped over back then like the the milk guys used to bring like glasses of milk mm -hmm. to your backyard mm -hmm. so it was like a thing with a handle and I was running outside and my foot got cut in it and I tripped and I fell down the stairs and a big chunk of my skin <laughs> big chunk came out of my leg mm. and I knew I was gonna have to have stitches so I stuck it back in and I put a band-aid on it <laughs> and I went in the bathroom and I never told my mom and it just like grew back. And now it's like a dead piece of skin on my leg. You want to feel it? The this? Back. Can you feel? Can you tell? You just like stuck. <laughs> You're like, nope, not <laughs> today. I'm not going to hospital today. <laughs> I guess that is a secret. Nana does not. I never told Nana. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I have secrets. <laughs> Half my drink is gone now. <laughs> my mom spilled her hot, hot matcha all on my leg and my butt. If you could change one thing about the way that you were raised, what would it be? I don't know if I would change anything. I'm so stumped. You don't think you don't, you don't think you'd change anything? I don't think I would change anything. No? No. Not at all. No, you know what? No. I I mean I wish grandpa wasn't so hard on us about weight. Mm. Grandpa was very, very, very hard on us. Mm. It did a lot of damage. You yeah. know that. Yeah. To all of us. Yeah. In different ways. Mm -hmm. And and he did it not knowing any of course, better of course but um but oh god i wish that that he was not like that with us mm -hmm. and with nana i'm glad that they that they raised us without a bunch of junk food in the house i'm glad i kind of did that with you yeah i didn't i didn't deprive you yeah like you they did deprived yeah. us but i wasn't filling the house with yeah a bunch of junk yeah if you could change one thing about the way i was raised what would it be I feel like we didn't have enough family, family time. Mm. And I feel like I did a lot by myself and I was running around like crazy. So I wish we had, we did have more family time. I agree, I wish we like went on more trips. I wish we went on more trips. Definitely wish we went on more trips. I feel um, so like inexperienced with like yeah. traveling and like going and, places. And that was a whole like, I'm glad we put you in private school. I really am glad we put you in private yeah, school. Yeah, there was a lot of money. But it, it really stopped us from doing a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. You know, we didn't have we didn't have the money to travel and do private, and we chose private. So I definitely wish that we did more traveling. <laughs> Wait, those are cute. Are they? Oh, I love them. Can I have them? No, sorry. I love you. I thought you were gonna say that. <laughs> what is something that you've always had trouble saying no to? Everything. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Everything, everything, everything. I have a really hard time saying no to everybody. Why do you think that is? I'm a people pleaser. Mm. I really am and I hate it. It's really gotten hard. Yeah. I try to say no, I just don't really know how to. I said no about something one day and it really felt good. I can't think about what I can't think of what it was. <laughs> one day. Yeah, I did. I remember saying no. <laughs> I need to that's something I really need to work on. Yeah, you should. Because I really don't say no. Except to me. <laughs> Except to you. Don't say no to me. <laughs> Especially to you. I think I say yes to you the most. Do you want to ask me a question? Why not? Do you have secrets? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't really keep a lot from my mom. Except for I went on a date. A while ago and like I didn't tell my mom and then one day at dinner I just decided to like say it secret. like I knew I wasn't gonna not tell you I just like got nervous to like but I didn't tell you before and now I'm gonna tell you you know but you still wouldn't give me a name or a picture no <laughs> I'm not gonna do that yes I do have a secret you wouldn't give me any details I know I guess. <laughs> so I didn't finish that sentence I just said it. what's one day that you will never forget I mean, easy question is like the day I had you guys, of course. But, you, but that's only one day. There's two of us. 
Okay, I had coal, I'm sorry. Oh. I mean, of course you too, but for, of course. But him. having your first baby. Yeah, yeah. And I was, I was, you were C-section, I was driving. Imagine how you. powerful I would be if I was the firstborn. Right. <laughs> and it's another Cole story. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. But um, the day Cole's angel saved him. Okay, tell that story. Um, we were getting ready for Cole's birthday party and he was a couple years two years old and um, we had people in the backyard putting tents up and dad was in the front room painting and Cole was in the back den watching Barney um, dad left and he left the front door open because he had thought the paint fumes and he knew we were in the back of the house well I was in the backyard talking to the people that were putting up the tent and I heard a horn honk and we lived on a busy street and I don't know what made me know something was wrong because you hear horns honk all the time and I ran in the den and Cole wasn't there and I ran out into the street and I saw a woman in front of a car holding Cole so I ran and I grabbed her out of his arms out of her arms and I turned around and I took two steps to the curb and when I turned around and looked the lady was gone and the car was gone nowhere in sight I just know that couldn't have been a person like that had to have been his angel that saved him yeah like where did it go it couldn't have and a person would have yelled at me or a person would have said what happened yeah um and Cole pointed to the street and said daddy so when Steve dad took off in the truck Cole went after him and she was like our house the next house up and she was parked across and I don't know what in me when I heard that horn honk I knew when I ran I love that story yeah I cried for days and days and days and days I just couldn't stop crying because it's crazy mm -hmm. right yeah it made me believe in angels for sure mm -hmm. Guardian Angels. That guardian Angels. Cole's Guardian Angel. That was Cole's Guardian Angel. Definitely, like no one could tell me any different. What's one thing that you have always wanted to do? Okay, not always, but recently. Can I tell you something I've been recently wanting to do? Like the yeah. past couple yeah. of years? I've been wanting to get a matching tiny tattoo with you. <laughs> You wanting to get specifically matching with me? Yeah. Because I want a tiny tattoo. Like, I don't want anything big, something very dainty. But I want to get a matching one with you. Random days, my mom tells me, like, are we doing something? And she's like, we'll just get a tattoo. And, like, I never follow through with it. Like, I'm I, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. But, like, you know, make an appointment and all that stuff. You want to get a tattoo? Yeah. Yeah? I do. Little one. Little one. Little one. Teeny. Teeny. Tiny. Let's get a tattoo. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Do we have to call or can we just walk in? I think we can just... We'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's go. piece of advice to your younger self what would it be to be kinder to myself <gasps> oh. sure. like, that's easy you know what's so funny is that I always like that's like my thing that I always say online and to everyone is like be kind to yourself mm -hmm. and be gentle with yourself mm -hmm. so that's funny that you because say I that I think we're all so hard on ourselves I and know it's so bad I know what do you think that you're kind to yourself now no, not like I should be. No, mm. definitely not. Is this something you're working on? Yeah. Yeah. 
If I was, I would like slow down, say good things to myself. You say good things to yourself. You're very, you. I try to. You, your self talk is very good. Yeah, I try to. You got, you got to. Yeah. Cause you're stuck. You're stuck with this. <laughs> you're stuck in here. You got to be nice to yourself. Yeah, for sure. I love that. That's your piece of advice? Mm hmm. For sure. Be kind to yourself. Thank you for hanging out with me today. <gasps> Thank you. I had the best day ever. The best day? Best day. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. Thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video for our jewelry <gasps> pieces. Jewelry piece. love it. Shop everything. Link down below. Get your Mother Day, Mother's Day presents. You can get your own little matching jewelry that we have forever. We forever and ever. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs>